The buzz about this hurricane season set to be super active is hard to miss. The burning question on everyone's mind seems to be why? I recently sat down with Dr. Phil Klotzbach from Colorado State University. Here's what he says is driving the forecast for an active season. According to the latest projections from Colorado State University, we're in for an eventful season. But what's behind the high numbers of expected storms? It all comes down to the transition from El Nino to La Nina. The El Nino that we had this past winter is going to is, is, is dissipating very, very quickly. Uh, we're likely to be to neutral and then probably only our La Nina conditions by the upcoming hurricane season. El Nino, characterized by warmer waters over the equatorial Pacific Ocean, typically brings stronger westerly winds across the tropics, which suppresses hurricane formation. La Nina, on the other hand, weakens these winds, providing a more conductive environment for hurricanes to develop. So the first reason is the fading El Nino, followed by the emergence of La Nina. And the third reason, the ocean temperatures are soaring. Combined with the fact the Atlantic remains record warm, um, basically a warm Atlantic means more fuel for the storms, tends to be lower pressure, a more unstable atmosphere, all of which also tend to favor um, a well above normal Atlantic hurricane season. When crafting his forecast, Dr. Klotzbach looks at previous years with similar conditions. Dr. Klotzbach sees parallels with 1887, 1926, and a few other notable years. Our last analog is actually 2020. That's so very active. Yeah, yeah. So all those years were very busy, just depending on where. 